Welcome to Tech. Technology, technology, automotive, and gaming. Seems to be more technology than anything lately. But anyways, so today we have a really cool wireless charger. I know we just did wireless chargers, but this one's a little bit better. We'll give you the full review right after this. How pretty you watch. Look at Derry too. Whoa! Tag, you're in. Lit mobile charger. First, we're gonna do some tests with out in the rain, see if it's actually waterproof. And it's got this really bitchin' flashlight. <laughs> it's like murder, murder, so. 300 lumens, that's pretty good. Oh, that's right. Oh, dude, come on now. I know, right? Christ. And it's got a solar charger. Now, they claim it'll take six to eight hours to charge a solar charger, but with only a 300 milliamp hour solar panel, doesn't add up. I did the math, it would take 66 point something hours to do, which you're looking days, a little over six, seven days. I'm gonna test it out, I'm gonna put it outside, and that's also gonna test out weatherability testing, because it's supposed to be IP65 weatherproof, so that is spray proof. So if you spray it for 30 minutes, it won't get wet. So rain, you know, downpour should be nothing to it. It should just work, work, brush it off. As long as these plugs are plugged up, and it's got Three plugs. Three plugs. All the same? Nope. It has uh, two uh, one amp and one uh, two amp. Why can't they all just be two amp? Uh, because if you overdo the battery, it overheats. Oh, you did your stuff. Yes, I actually was wondering why, auto guy doing the tech why, why they're not all two amp. Well, if you plug three two amps in there, first of all, the battery would have to be almost 100% charged for it to do that. Because once it goes below 50%, you're lucky if you get four amps out of it. So they do that intentionally because they know they're going a certain amount of amperage out. Second of all, because if you do that, the leads here will get hot and the battery then will get hot because it's draining so fast. When you charge it up, you gotta realize if you're a charger, it takes three hours, four hours to charge. Well, if you're discharging that really quickly, you're gonna get really, really hot. That's why. Cool. Yeah, so that's why. Uh, another cool feature about this is I just turned it on, is... What else charging? Boom, wireless charging, right, and it works very charging. well. Even with Tristan's case in there, it works really well. Wireless charging, and this is convenient if you know you're just sitting at home and you just want to pop it on. You don't want to plug anything in, it's kind of nice. And how many milliamps did you say this was? It's 20,000, I can confirm it is 20,000 milliamps. How many charges you got enough of it? Um, with my phone, I, I, it's unfair, so I use a certain type of batteries, which I know the exact amount of amperage on it, both the batteries are 4,300 milliamp hours, which together is 8,600 milliamp hours. And I did it two and two two times, so you know 8,000, 8,000 equals 16, 17. And I got this. Well, I did one battery by itself again, and I got it over 50 percent. So it is legit 20,000 wow. milliamp hours. So legit. That's awesome. So it's not Samsung. It's not Samsung. Yeah. Legit 20,000 milliamp hours. Watch that video here. Okay. Right here. Yeah. So this is legit 20,000 milliamp Samsung hours. Wise. And it charges really fast. The input one is also waterproof, and it does have a safety feature, which our uh, other ones didn't. Our um, expert power. Expert powers. They will. If you try to two amp charge it, it could overheat. I found that out by accident. So it. Well, wait, if you do it, it only do that if it's really dead. If it's halfway charged, it automatically just goes to one amp. And I've noticed that. But if it's almost dead and you plug it in, it gets hot. This does not. It will fast charge, according to the instructions, it'll fast charge itself up to about 70% and then it then it downgrades itself. So it charges really fast. I mean within two hours I was over 50%. So boom, 10,000. How much you pay for it? It's expensive. Uh, with the promo code my girlfriend got it for my birthday, she went to disclose the exact amount, but it was a little like $55 with a promo code. Mm. They are expensive, but you got what quality. Quality. Man, I've so, dropped this, I have kicked it. I uh, actually, looks rugged. It's very rugged. It it's, looks like you can yeah. give it a ding and dent and it's pretty nice. Travel with it. Yeah. So we're gonna do a long-term solar charging test, and uh, then we'll come right back to you. Okay. So I'm doing the test on the lit mobile battery bank here. You see, it's raining. It's out here. And we'll come up to it. Still says it's charging. It got wet. Flashlight still works. Can you see it appears to still work? Let's uh, plug her in and see if she still works. Right, so I dried off the Lit Mobile charger and it's been out there for eight days. 
at 75%. You know, it's been at 75% for like two days. So I really don't know if it's with the charger here, it's gonna get much past that. So I'm going to charge battery bank for the battery bank, see if that works. Still works, it's charging the battery bank. I could just, I'm not sure if the wireless charger works, but let's see if that's works. I grab my girlfriend's cell phone here. Unfortunately, I have to take off the skin of it. Let's see if that works. Still works. So I'm wirelessly charging. Pretty cool. It got wet and it still charges up. Nice. So obviously this thing is pretty invincible when it comes to the rain. It got rained on two days today and a few days ago. But I will say that eight days it took just eight seventy five percent. In reality, they said they said six to eight hours. Well, that's not really true. You're looking at what I can tell because it got seventy five percent in about six days. It's probably about two thousand milliamp hours every day of real sun time. Granted, there are some shady days here in rain, two days of rain. But still, eight days, 75%. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's terrible. It's just not unrealistic to expect it to charge up. But if you left it in your dash, you know, in the car, you're going to get a little bit more time out of it. So you could possibly charge your battery 50% longer because you're charging it up 2,000 milliamp hours a day. So I did the long-term test. And as you could see, it was waterproof. It was in the rain for many days. Now, as you saw in the video, it never actually got 100% with solar charging over eight days. Now, the problem with that was it was raining a lot here in Wisconsin. So, you know, eight days, you're not getting a lot. But I can say that it did about 2,000 milliamp hours. And after I did that test, I thought, well, let me just, just sun here, let me charge my phone on it and leave it in the dash of the car. That's a heat test, too. And I did, and it, I got, uh, I had almost eight charges on my phone. So basically, while you're not getting a a lot of charge. It is going to take, like I said, the mass has 6, 6 hours, but you get at least 2,000 or so more in milliamp hours out of it. And my phone is a little less than 4,000 milliamp hours, so basically I'm getting over 8 charges while keeping this out in the sun. That's decent. Decent? That's yeah. very decent. So it's not going to last, charge itself up. It's not. Unless you just leave it out for 6 days, it's not going to do the job. But it will maintain a really long time. So that's eight charges. And let's say you only go through one charge a day in your battery. Most people don't. This took me five days to do eight charges and then that was that. But if you do that, then in theory, you only have to plug this up once a week, in theory, if you only do one charge a day. Cool. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. And it went through the water test. It got all wet, still worked. I checked every single port. Worked great. Wireless charging still works. Battery or the flashlight still works. Battery indicator still works. Love the battery indicator. I'll show you. Boop, 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 boop. Really easy, and it says 25, 50, 75, 100. Pretty darn accurate, too, I'll have to say. And uh, this one, because it has that protection there, once at 25, it does limit how many uh, amperage you can put out, but I can still charge my phone, no problem. And the flashlight's still blinding. <sighs> Damn, dude. It's pretty awesome. It's my favorite charger now. It is big and bulky, but it is invincible, and it's gonna be my backpacking charger because it's a waterproof, pretty much almost. There you go. So, yeah. There's my review of this Lit Mobile wireless charger or plug charger battery bank. And till next time, tag your it. Did we pause for the intro? Do I put the in the intro? Oh, don't even start. Don't even start. Go lay your happy ass down. Don't hey, say stop, a word. Stop. Lay your happy ass down.